Hi again, I have another share for you. I'm going to mail this to my grandniece for her Valentine uh, gift. Uh, she recently had a birthday, and uh, as you can see, she turned one. This has been laying on my craft table for quite some time, so uh, at the beginning of the year, I challenged myself to finish up some of the projects that I have been just leaving on my craft desk and moving on. Um, and so this is one of the accomplishments I've made uh, since the beginning of the year. It's a toilet paper mini and a lot of the um, ribbons I had in my stash and I don't really know who made these ribbons but I'm sure you can find them uh, at your local you know, craft store and get any, any design you wish to go with whatever papers you're using. So this happens to be a Teresa Collins uh, paper line and it's called Lay Chic Baby and um, the front of it um, my niece had made a, an invitation for her daughter's birthday online and it had um, pictures of her throughout the year and her name is Sophia so I took my invitation and I trimmed it up and I used it on this little miniature um, scrap book for her that she can uh, journal her birthday and her milestones in to commemorate her first birthday so the front of the cover has just this little tiny um, die that I use from it's either my favorite things or spellbinders I can't remember I'll put it down in the description all the pullouts in this album are the same uh, as far as the inside paper they're for journaling I found this online it was a free um, printout and I sized it to fit my toilet paper roll so I printed one for each of the um, inserts and then on the back side I again used the Teresa Collin paper on uh, just a plain pink cardstock and I edged everything in a pink um, ink that's from the dollar bin and it's the Studio G line. The pullout tabs are all made with a McGill punch that I've had for a long long time uh, and I did use the paper line um, so they just all go with this paper line so all the pullouts are the same so I'm not going to show you those but and the inside of the card is very simple I um, downloaded a font on the internet and I just um, used that font to write out on each page what I felt when I looked at her pictures so these all came from her little card that she sent and like I said I cropped the little pictures and I tried to put them in a sequence that I thought as she aged through the through the year so the first one is just embellished with some little dollar bin flowers and little stickers that came from the dollar bin once again at Target so you can really do scrapbooking and not have a whole lot of money invested in it and it does turn out cute and it's a great uh, thing for someone to preserve their memories and and become a nice little gift for them so I'm hoping that she will like this and I think she will be surprised because it's been a while since the birthday so she's not going to be expecting this this picture of uh, Sophia is her first um, Halloween and my niece had a little uh, stuffed toy that she named Cuddles and uh, when she was a little girl and it was a little lamb like this and so I know that's why she dressed Sophia like this for her first Halloween and my niece named her little toy Cuddles so this is her life-size Cuddles and she sure is a sweetie the next page she can just journal on it's just the plain lines and there again pictures of Sophia this one just says sweetheart simple layering techniques simple little embellishments um, I did put a little rhinestone in the center of the flowers and um, this again is a dollar bin sticker from Target. This says sweetheart and adorable. This one says precious cupcake. Um, this is, happens to be a recollection sticker that I purchased at Michael's. And since it was her birthday, I thought cupcake would be sweet to go with this line. And then the last page just says baby girl so it's just a very simple little uh, toilet paper mini 
and I used the eyelets to uh, bind the book with some of the ribbons and then on the back I just um, stamped created with love and personalized it for her so that's my share I hope you like it and I hope you're inspired to use up some of your craft uh, scraps that you have laying around and thanks for watching bye bye